And welcome back. If you live or work in Napa, there's a new resource the community can access to find out where crime is happening. Yeah, it comes in the form of a crime map and it stems from the Napa Police Department's effort to be more transparent. We caught up with the police department to explain how it works. At first glance on this map, it appears to be just that a map. But if you zoom in there, you'll find icons displayed in various neighborhoods in Nampa showing if and where any crimes have been committed. This is the Nampa Police Department's new publicly shared crime map. One of the features of our crime map is the option to submit a tip. Uh, with that, it allows our community members where if they may have been in the area, but maybe they didn't want to call us or provide information at that time. Brandon Feldman is a peace officer with the city of Nampa who has been assigned to the real-time crime center, which monitors crime happening in the community and works closely with analysts. Say we have a shooting somewhere in our city, uh, we'll be able to pull up cameras in that area and hopefully gather intel for our patrol officers as they're on the way to that call. And then we can also relay that information to them. Hopefully they can potentially pick up a suspect if they fled from the scene. They use cameras that read license plates, as well as traffic cameras, which they can move if there is a lawful reason to do so. To say a parking lot where there might be a robbery happening or something going on in that parking lot, we can pull those cameras up and start giving updates to our officer. That information gathered will then make its way to the crime map. Feldman says people who live in the community are then able to look at the map and see where that crime is happening. The map updates every 24 hours and shows all the calls that happen throughout the city. He adds it'll show the general location where a crime happens, but not the specific address of a person's home. We really care about a person's privacy. The features are also anonymous. It gives the incident number, our police department, and then the type of call that it was. So in this case, it was a threatening call. It doesn't say who the victim is. Also, uh, we're not going to post sensitive calls, um, so like sexual assault, stuff like that. The crime map is also free. I encourage members of our community that if they if they see something and they know that something occurred in their neighborhood, I highly encourage them to submit these tips because it helps our officers solve cases in a timely manner. Nampa police say this crime map is part of their commitment to transparency and community safety. They say people reached out to them and asked for a way to see what kind of crime was happening in their neighborhood. And we'll have a link to that crime map in this story later on at KTVB.com.